Antonio, um, just a quick question for clarification. Um, I know there was a long feature out on you. You mentioned you had some sort of procedure done on um, on your toe. Are you able to say what that was and, and when it was? Uh, I don't recall in the article me saying that, but other than that, I'm fine. My toe is fine. I'm good, ready to play for this season. Other than that, I'm good. Okay. <laughs> I'll move on from that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> How you come into the season, you obviously had a really good rookie season. How much of progressing is more mental for you or more physical for you? Um, just in, as you get comfortable more and more in this position, uh, I would say mental, uh, physical wise. Um, you know, it's football, I've been doing it my whole life, but uh, mentally, uh, I feel like I'm coming a long way. Um, you know, like I said, I've been saying it a lot, uh, getting north. Um, knowing right situations, I'm trying to make a big play and just getting a first down. Um, so, you know, I'm just ready to put it, on, put it out there on, on the field. What are some of the keys to, you know, doing that or, or knowing you have to do that in the film room and also, like, putting it out on the field, like you said? Uh, reps. Um, that's the only thing that can help. Uh, like, I, I was a receiver turned running back. Uh, so, you know, the more reps I got, the, the more the reps I got doing it, um, I'm getting comfortable with it. And um, now it's just time to put it out there on game day. Mm -hmm. uh, I wonder if uh, what have you maybe focused on with with, with Randy or Scott or other uh, other coaches? I guess in preparation for Week One, maybe specifically things that you'd like to you know start the tone right for the season. Um, just starting out aggressive. Um, I'm not I'm not that type of uh, running back who, who who likes to run somebody over every play. And, um, that's something I need to put in my game, and um, that's something I'm gonna start doing. Um, coming out, you know, delivering the blow. And um, that's something I'm focused on this season, starting off strong. How is it that you focus on that? What things can you do? Just, you know, is that a second nature thing? But how do you focus on that? Uh, just run the ball hard. Uh, I'm a big back, 6'2", uh, uh, almost, yeah, 225. Uh, so, you know, just run hard. Uh, I, got the, I got the size and I got the speed. So, you know, if I'm running hard, most of the times I'm falling forward. And then also with the short yardage, obviously Peyton filled that role last year. You had a couple of chances early in the preseason. What did you learn from those? Because I know it's, is it a different thing? And what did you learn from those few chances that can help you moving forward? Uh, I don't think uh, it's, it's much change. Uh, it's just different situation. Um, like I said, no one to hit it. And on those plays right there, you got to hit it hard. Um, drive your feet if it's, if it's nothing there. Um, you just got to have it. You got to have those plays. What do you think about the group of blockers who will be kind of doing the work for you? Sam Cosby's new on the edge. You got Charles Lennon on the other side. How has your chemistry gone with them, and what do you make of that unit as a whole? Uh, I'm loving it. Uh, it's looking real good. Um, like you said, over the over the offseason, training camp, um, just been building on. And, um, it's looking real good going into week one. Quarterbacks needing chemistry with receivers. Linebackers needing chemistry with the safeties. How do you go about building chemistry with the offensive line? What are the conversations like and things like that on the practice field? Uh, just, just seeing what they, they're thinking. Uh, most of the time, they come to me about it. Um, they'd be like, "Right here, I'm gonna do this," or you know, or certain things like that. And um, picking up on um, you know, film um, on si certain situations, if they got a two eye or if a guy's in a nine or a six, um, you know how they're gonna attack it. Um, so just, just picking up on, on those things on film, and, um, you know, trying stuff out in practice, and then if it works, it's like, okay, that's that's what he does, and, and that works. That's what he does. Trying to, you know, figure out everybody else and um, see how they how they like to do things and adjust my game off of it. Antonio, after having a true off season, how would you say that you feel differently after this off season, like going through the full spring, summer workouts, preseason versus last year? Where would you say like you were at last year at the end of the off season versus this year? How do you feel like you're different in that way? Uh, last year. I didn't going into week one. That was my my first run live at running back, you know, in the league. So it was like I had the, that was the first time like I really had the jitters. It was like, man, but uh, I started getting the flow for things this year. I got a preseason OTAs training. You know, I got everything. And, um, I feel way more comfortable going into week one. Like I'm like I'm really ready for week one to show like how much I improved from last year um, on just seeing the holes, you know, knowing when to level off and, um, you know, things of that nature. So I feel way more comfortable going into week one this year. What would, you, what would you say your goals are for this season? What do you expect from yourself? What are you most interested in seeing yourself do better this season as well, too? Just what, what are your goals for heading into 2021? Uh, I got my own personal goals. I ain't going to speak too much on it, but um, definitely getting way better. Uh, I mean, improving way, way much better than last year. Um, 
I look at last year film and I get upset. Uh, some of the holes I miss, some of the plays I should have just gotten north, some of the plays, you know, I should have tried to make a play. And, um, and me seeing it like this year, it's like, man, what was I doing? So just, just to improve from last year. After last season, were there any people, any run, other running backs you looked up to, you reached out to, trying to get advice or tips on things of how to improve or that sort of thing? Uh, actually, I, I didn't reach out to uh, anybody. Um, you know, I feel like, like I said a couple of times, I feel like we got a lot of running backs, uh, you know, that came through here. Um, I love lo watching J.D. routes, uh, love his routes. Um, Peyton Barber was real good at, um, you know, following his uh, blocks, um, staying on track and things of that nature. And Lamar really helped out, too. Um, I'm watching uh, how he how he ran his tracks and, and stayed close to the line of scrimmage and stayed tight off his linemen. So, you know, I did a lot of watching our backs. Yeah. You mentioned picking stuff up from, from other teammates, seeing how they do things. Can you share any examples of, of a time that maybe you saw some guy do something that you were like, oh, I got to do this now? Uh, from other teams? No, 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 from, from your teammates. You're saying maybe blocker or receiver or things like that. Um, I got plenty. Um, it, it really happened in practice, um, like being patient, uh, getting a ball so you can see it. Um, sometimes I could be kind of fast getting the ball and trying to get to the hole. Jay Will, um, he's like, be patient, see it, hit the hole. Um, Peyton Barber, um, he's real good with like following his tracks. Um, that's something I've been working on, and it's been helping a lot. Uh, Lamar Miller, um, how, how quick he can explode, and then he gets north, um, leveling off. Uh, watch him a lot. And um, like I said, J.D. has routes. I'm always picking up off of what he's doing, you know, trying to improve on that. So it's a lot of situations like that. Yeah. Um, last, I guess last one. Um, Curtis Samuel has been in and out with the groin. We all know that today he had to leave off there. If you guys don't have him, you know, first of all, what does he mean to the offense? But if you don't have him, what are your expectations? Um, for the next man to step up, that's what, that's what football is about. Uh, no, no disrespect to him. He's a great player. We'd love to have him. Um, and if we do, we do. If we don't, we don't. Um, but it's always next man up, and that's what that's what this league is about. That's what any league is about. College, high school, um, it's always next man up. So that's what we expect from the next man. Are you? I mean, because you guys haven't been able to really have him out there. How anxious or curious are you to see what it looks like when he is on the field? Uh, that's that's between the coach and staff. You know, uh, I'm not gonna speak too much on him. Thank you.